Welcome to the MDS Gateway's Auto Attendant Setup Wizard. In order to set up your Auto Attendant, you must first log in using your username and password. To enable the Auto Attendant, click on Auto Attendant under System Settings. This is the Auto Attendant main menu. In order to enable Auto Attendant, you must first check the box beside the Enabled field. The name of the message is used to identify the message. This name is displayed on both the browser and on the system phones. The duration of the message is displayed in the field under the word Duration. If there is no message recorded as here in the hold message, then this field will remain blank. Next is the message controls. On the left there is a green arrow. This is used to play the recorded message. There is a black X in the center. This is used to delete an unwanted message. Both the arrow and the X will remain blank and take no effect if no message has been recorded. In order to record a new message, you must first delete an existing message. Then click the record key. You may record an auto attendant message on the system phones or you may have a professionally recorded file uploaded in any of the following file formats highlighted below. Once you have selected your file, click choose file, locate the file and select upload. Then click send. To return to the auto attendant main menu, click home and auto attendant under system settings. Next is the code. The code of the message is the number given to the message for identification purposes. This corresponds with the message name. The installer programs when the message is to be triggered in the ringing, digit and group assignments. A group assignment can be set up by going to the home menu, then going to group assignment under group settings. For example, when a call comes in on group 81, extension 1046 rings as the caller is greeted by attendant message 103. For example, on group 82, I wish for extension 1049 and extension 1051 to ring as the caller is greeted by attendant message number 107. I am happy with this group assignment, I then click save and all group assignments are saved in their new format. If I am unhappy, I simply press back. Once again, to return to the auto attendant menu, click on auto attendant under system settings. Next is the delay timer. The delay timer sets how long the assigned extension or extensions are to ring before being answered by the attendant message. A delay timer set at 10 seconds will ring for 10 seconds before being answered by that attendant message. A delay timer set at 0 seconds will be immediately answered by that attendant message. The ringing during message option allows the attendant message to greet the caller while simultaneously the assigned extensions ring as the message is being played. If this field is left unchecked then the caller will be greeted by the attendant message and no extensions will ring as the message is playing. If the only signed extension is an attendant message, then this field will have no effect. The digit assignment is when certain digits are assigned an extension or extensions. For example, in the welcome message, it says, Welcome to MDS Gateways. Press 1 for sales, 2 for marketing, and 3 for research and development. When the caller keys in 2, they are transferred to the marketing section. This is the digit assignment menu. If the installer wishes to program the star key to trigger an extension prompt, then the installer clicks on the field beside star and scrolls down to extension prompt. To alert the caller to this feature, in a sample attendant message you would say, press 1 for sales, 2 for marketing, however if you know the extension that you wish to call, please dial star followed by that extension. Similarly, the caller can program the hash key to program a voicemail prompt. Remember to tell the caller about this function in your attendant message. The installer can program a certain digit to direct the caller to an external extension. For example, if digit 5 is programmed to call an external extension, the installer simply 
signs digit 5 to an external extension and types in the number of that external extension. Note that the company and not the caller is charged for this external call. The installer may wish to program a certain digit to end call. For example, if the installer programs digit 7 to end current call, then when the caller dials 7, the call ends. The installer can set up what happens when no digits are dialed during the message. For example, if no digits are dialed after 7 seconds of ringing, the caller is transferred to attendant message number 19. The installer can set up what happens when the desired destination of the caller is busy or unavailable. For example, you can set it up so as if the destination is busy or unavailable, the caller is transferred to external extension, which is programmed by the installer. If you wish to save the group assignment changes that you have made, click save, otherwise click back. To log out of the browser, click on home and then click log out. Thank you for your time. Please ensure that you see part two of this presentation which shows you how to set up the auto attendant on system phones.